Hey, this is Christian Buckley with another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with uh, Dujan. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. And another brand spanking new MVP. That's that's very exciting. Congratulations again on, on receiving your MVP. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it was definitely an uh, 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 unexpected uh, turnout. So, yeah, I'm, I was very, very happy to see it. Um, still getting over the actual hype of becoming an MVP as well. Well, and, and, you know, and there aren't a ton of enterprise mobility MVPs. Why don't you talk about that? Like, what's your focus area? What kind of went into, what were your contributions that led towards becoming a, an enterprise mobility MVP? Um, so my background was always, was I always specialized in the uh, system center stack. Um, mm -hmm. One of the ones uh, always being um, SCCM. And I think naturally when you're in SCCM, I think at some point you will meet sort of the in-tune and um, endpoint management and workplace management side. So once I got into that, I started to get a lot heavier into that side, a lot of more content, a lot more blog content, article content was coming out, uh, especially in the moving transition in between um, parts like SDCM and in tune and modern workplace management as well. And uh, quite a lot of uh, blog series came out of it and it just sort of, sort of started to write itself after yep. that. Good friends with Harjeet. Do you know Harjeet? Um, Wall? I knew. Okay. I know him. Yeah. Yeah. He he just uh, he just left the MVP world and joined Microsoft. Uh, okay. Yeah, but uh, in in that world, so the SCCM world is uh, in David James over there at Microsoft. If you know David, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's uh, he's my brother-in-law. Little known detail out there. So very very smart boy in that space. So long time. Uh, uh, Microsoft person in that space. I think he's been, I don't know how long he's been at Microsoft, 25 plus years, but back when it was server and tools and, but he's been working in that space for a long time. So I know a little bit about that through that family line about that area of technology, but uh, well, very cool. So what kind of stuff are you doing in the community and, and what's, what are, what are the community activities? Like, what does it look like where you're, where you, where you are in the world now? Are you doing things, user groups, that kind of stuff? Um, yeah, so before I was actually very heavy in the uh, technet side, but since that mm. sort of got winding down and the technet gallery got taken down, um, I started focusing more on my website and sort of making the blog and article content there. So avenues like Twitter, um, LinkedIn uh, became good sources as well. And I think the communities are building up a lot more, especially in LinkedIn. So I'm, I'm also uh, an official contributor to a uh, group called the Modern Endpoint uh, Management Group as well. And uh, there's a lot of MPPs um, around the enterprise mobility side as well. A lot of content gets uh, created there. And there's thousands, tens of thousands of members there now. So it, it's definitely growing. So yeah, that's definitely where a lot of my uh, contribution attention is being put at, at the moment. But yeah, it's definitely being well received um, everywhere. It's always, it, it's, you know, obviously, you know, everybody kind of went towards the digital formats for content with the pandemic. Um, and uh, it's funny, I've just went to this, this past month to my first event and it wasn't very well attended. Uh, so <laughs> still a lot of people are nervous out there, but then went to an offsite with uh, my larger team. And so flew across the country to go meet with people in person uh, and, you know, I forgot how much I missed that face-to-face, -face. Mm -hmm. you know, and you can have the fantastic, you know, it, there's, I mean, there's one thing to be said about uh, there. You're not losing travel time. Uh, you're, you're not having to go and, you know, prepare for that stuff. Uh, and there are, there are so many more opportunities to go and build content, speak to user groups around the world. Um, so contributions, is not an issue. It's not a matter of doing those things, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, personally, what's your personal take on doing the, you know, the, the pure online versus in person? Um, I think I've probably been more used to doing it um, online probably than in person. 
uh, I think so far. So I think uh, the uh, uh, adaption for me has not been too difficult, but um, it would be definitely interesting to do a lot more in person or directly anything in person. That's it. I think at the moment as well. Yeah, well, it, it's, I mean, that because that's one thing is it, you really have to work hard with uh, doing like webinars and other things to to make sure you're getting that interaction with, with yeah. people. And it's just easy to be quiet, not raise your hand and not ask questions uh, in an online format. But when a speaker is like, you know, points to you in the crowd, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. in a session, uh, it, it, you you feel more obligated to uh, to participate and make it interactive, which is the part that I love about presenting live. Putting people on the spot, I guess, is what I love. Yeah. <laughs> well, what kind of stuff are you writing about and focusing on? Like, what what are your most recent blog posts or videos about? Um. So, well, the most recent uh, blog I did is actually literally about an hour ago. <laughs> Uh, that was um, sort of around um, enterprise mobility stuff. But uh, a lot of the content that I've been doing um, has been around enterprise mobility. Um, it's also been around other areas. So I also cover sort of some monitoring side of things. Um, I've got a webinar coming up on the 28th of September where I'm demonstrating um, a new um, app which I've developed for creating management packages for GOM. Um, but they've also got a lot of content as well that's split, very split across things like PowerShell, Power BI, everything in the system. So it's, it's pretty, pretty varied content. Yeah, I, I imagine there's a lot of that, uh, you know, as we were kind of talking before we started recording about, you know, uh, of cross topics, uh, you know, yeah. um, especially when you talk about kind of DevOps related areas and yeah. building tooling and automating, then you know, like it, it seems like to me, again, it's not my area, my focus area, but kind of blurred lines in between some of the power platform stuff with what the enterprise mobility side. So I, I don't know how close you were of like enterprise mobility versus business applications. Mm -hmm. um, you know, usually that's a, there's a distinction uh, between those, but, but again, it's, there's a lot of overlap. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, very cool. Well, so you know, what else is uh what are you what are your plans uh for the for the rest of the year any, any other from a from a content perspective or focus any any like microsoft technologies that you're diving into i mean obviously we have ignite that's happening is it november is it is it next i don't yeah i i, I need to i need to have a big calendar on the wall behind my monitor i think for this thing i think it's november i'm not paying attention to it yet because i don't know that details or out there if the site's even live. I don't think so. Um, but you know, anything that you're looking to that you're excited about from the uh from the Microsoft roadmap, keeping your NDAs in mind, obviously don't talk about things you shouldn't, but anything that you're excited about. Um I wouldn't say there's anything specific that I would say I'm excited about. I, I normally keep an eye out for anything and everything that seems to get released. Um anything brand new i want to see it i want to want to get onto it um i mean my background's always um had the uh touch of the generalistic background where anything i wanted to see i wanted to touch it i wanted to master it anything yeah. everything on the road back i'm pretty much excited about well i saw that you like you, you have on like your linkedin it's like a microsoft technologist that side that's that's generally like the you know, the, the go-to for anything that's going on. So uh, like yeah. you're paying attention to the message center updates. So uh, you're typically, you know, Microsoft. So I, I mean, I put myself in that category as well, while I'm more on the productivity collaboration side, but I'm generally watching the message center updates that are coming in and aware of, and I've got, I'm on multiple tenants where I'm have some responsibilities and one that I don't have on my primary enterprise, but where I'm focusing on, I'm aware of, solutions that could impact on three different tenants. Uh, so it's it's good to have that ear out. Well, very cool. Well, I really appreciate you you're taking the time to uh, to chat today. And I know it's the uh, the end of your day. So uh, and going into a weekend. So always appreciate that. But, uh, you know, for folks that want to find out more about you, follow you, get get in touch with you. What are the best ways to reach you? Um, I would say LinkedIn. 
uh, my profile LinkedIn, uh, Twitter's a uh, great way to uh, get in touch with me as well. Of course, I've got my um, website where I've got my content as well, like uh, my solution website. I've uh, also got the uh, protect.org website as well. So, yeah, I'm pretty accessible in a lot of ways. But I think, I think LinkedIn and Twitter are probably the best direct ways to get in touch with me. Well, excellent. And I will have, of course, on the blog post out on buckleyplanet.com, I'll have links to all of his social networks and things that are out there. So you can click on that. If you're finding that, if you're watching this out via uh, YouTube, then you can find your way that way as well. As well as, I, I forget to pitch this sometimes, is you can go to the mvp.microsoft.com and find any MVP around the world. The search criteria is not that great. Like you can't go in there and say, you know, uh, you know, UK and type that in and then get all the MVPs within a region that Microsoft doesn't do that. Um, but you can by name and by other keywords in the profile. So like if you typed in SCCM, you, you know, Dujon would most likely pop up with all of the contributions that you have. So, well, awesome. Well, thanks a lot for your time. And we'll uh, hopefully we'll see if not virtually at uh, through Ignite and stuff going on, maybe we'll see you in uh in the new year as travel starts to open up oh yeah definitely i'll definitely be excited to start traveling around that time yeah hopefully we'll have the mvp summit in redmond campus next year <laughs> yeah hopefully all right we'll we'll talk to you soon thank you wow. Wow.